थ्री टू वन वी आर लाइव नाउ so we'll be waiting uh, for the students to join in i suppose uh, the students must have been attending their first lecture and they'll be joining in uh, in on this particular zoom id as i always say in next 2 to 3 minutes so this is our 13th virtual expert talk that we are organizing it today and uh, i'll be briefing you about the session and the speaker about the expert that we have uh, arranged it for you today Uh, we have around 45 students now i'll we'll wait for the 100 mark once we are able to achieve that 100 cut off mark 100 number of participants then uh, i'll start with the introduction part of this uh, session so we have uh, around 50 students now i suppose all the students would be uh, familiar with all the zoom ids and uh, passwords that we that they have been using from last uh, 10 12 days or i think the first semester students would be familiar with it from last 13 14 days and the third semester students are already aware of these things as they have been attending the lectures since 24th of march so we'll be waiting for another few seconds i suppose 80 to 90 seconds and then i'll start up with this session so we have around 55 students now It's ten thirty-two, so I suppose in the next one minute we'll be reaching uh, the hundred mark. So I've been getting uh, many, again, uh, many messages on uh, our my LinkedIn uh, or the college uh, LinkedIn profile, as the students seems to be very excited about all the lectures that we are organizing for them, and uh, every day there is a one lecture from last. Uh, Uh, 12 days. I suppose this is the 13th uh, expert talk today, and uh, we have been blessed with some best uh, uh, speakers or the best industry and academia uh, speakers that uh, we have arranged for them. And uh, every session was a great learning session, and uh, today's session would also be a great learning session for all the students. I can uh, surely say that. Uh, since i have been uh, following uh, sir uh, the guest uh, expert for today from uh, last few days and he has got a great profile i'll be introducing uh, uh, our guest speaker in next uh, one minute i don't want anyone to miss the introduction part because once you are uh, aware about the speaker once you are aware about the uh, traits and the qualities of the speaker then only you can enjoy the lecture right so we have now 70 participants so next 30 participants and then i'll start so meantime the others uh, can join in so i can just have a look over the mba third semester students uh, most of them have been in and uh, first semester students are also joining in so we have a mix of mba 1 mba 3 bba 1 bca i can see mca students also uh, btech students are also there just lean core manpreet core btech csc so we have a mix of uh, the audience now we have reached the 80 mark so in next uh, 30 40 seconds we'll be reaching the Hundred mark, and I'll be starting up with the introduction. As I was saying, that I have uh, uh, the LinkedIn session that we have organized was very effective because many of the students have been very uh, familiar with the LinkedIn from last uh, seven to eight days. I can see the LinkedIn profiles of all the students, and they have been very active. on linkedin they have been uh, updating uh, good content on linkedin they have been getting good connection from the industry and the academia people and i can see that they are growing their linkedin profile and it is going to be a great thing for students because uh, uh, this is going to be a, the key issue 
while uh, getting a good job in future as most of the companies would be watching you watching you online watching your linkedin profiles and you should be active with it and i would request all the other students also that they should also join the linkedin and make their account on linkedin and uh, okay now we have uh, 100 and two participants now so i can uh, we can start up with the session hello students uh, welcome to the uh, 13th virtual expert talk today and uh, the topic for today is how to be industry ready uh, in 2021 and uh, we have been privileged uh, uh, to have uh, mr intikhab aslam a leading uh, brand consultant we are very thankful to sir for uh, joining uh, us today and uh, guiding our students on this very relevant topic uh, so uh, intikhab uh, is uh, has a 14 years of experience and has worked with the uh, Uh, various domains like uh, media technology fmcg consumer durables and from uh, helping uh, india's most read business magazine gain more readers to assisting consumers by the most preferred appliance he has spent time marketing and uh, diverse portfolio of products so he has a very great profile his area of expertise is marketing brand communication and has worked closely with senior management of some of the most prominent brands in india so i welcome uh, intikhab aslam for this particular session and uh, i thank you very much for uh, joining us today and accepting our invitation to uh, guide our students on this uh, very relevant topic as i have already explained so it is over to you sir thank you kaval i uh, feel delighted to say the least that i am here and uh, i am you know here to talk to the students and it was a uh, you know time flies like a jiffy uh, 15 years back i was there one of the students sitting and you know attending such a session but you know obviously it was a more of live sessions then and it is the new normal that we are having these conversations these seminars online and i would like to also uh, thank the institute uh, mr rajesh sir and all the faculty members who are here uh so basically what i am going to do is i am going to have a brief talk about you know being industry ready and it's uh, especially it's not just about post covid covid scenario but overall we as students 15 years back you know used to attend classes from morning to evening i hope i am audible i'm sorry i have been talking and i should have checked okay sir uh, so you are audible uh, i would also like to uh, welcome uh, dr rajesh bagar director Uh, APG Institute of Management and Engineering Technique Campus. So he has also joined in. So thank you, sir, for joining. Thank Good you morning, so much, sir. and uh, my heartfelt thanks to Intikab uh, uh, Aslam, uh, sir. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation, and definitely, students, they are going to be benefited uh, with your talk. Reason being quite relevant and apt uh, topic concerned with the students uh, uh, future ready. and uh, i think uh, uh, with your tips with your ideas with your guidelines definitely students they will be benefited and we want to listen your journey as well uh, so delighted to have you in today's session sir thank you so much for joining thank you so much once again thank you sir for the kind words and i would try my best to keep it interesting and <laughs> so that the students because i i can totally get them that you know they are just here online but uh, i would keep it brief i would have uh, very few videos and uh, don't worry i don't have too much text on my slides it's only the relevant one uh so before i begin you know i would want to uh, ask all the students because obviously i can't see all of you uh, i'm sure you can get my video and my audio properly you have to be careful when you are you know in such sessions you should be listening very carefully i'll give you a short story about myself when i joined my first organization just after my mba i was a fresh graduate and we were you know we were six of us management trainees from uh, three different colleges and the head of hr was talking to us and it was it was a moment when you know you have you've got a you've got a placement from the campus you are there attending the first session and you are sitting and the head of hr is conducting a welcome session of sorts and uh, she had asked all of us to raise our hands so we were all raising our hands and 
she says she goes on to say that you know there is a project which is very interesting and who would want to be on that project so at that moment four of the students move their hands down you know because they could sense something or they had some idea wherein myself and uh, a friend of mine who was from another college had no idea what's going on and you know what happened our hands were up in the air and we were automatically selected and the project was to assist the ceo of the company for the next 3 months so, so it's it's very important to listen and uh, you know be alert at all times and that's an actual story and i was reporting to mr sunil khanna who was the then ceo of dish tv the only dth company in india okay so uh, you know my my topic that uh, i'm going to or i was talking to kamal on uh, linkedin as he was talking about linkedin i will i would also come on linkedin later in a little more detail that why is it important or uh, you know what it actually helps you with uh, i'm sure most of you are aware about it and i'm i'm uh, hoping that all of you have a profile there now being ready for the corporate in 2021 you know it's it's not just a topic it's a very relevant thought that you have to ask yourself you know as students as mba graduates or as engineering graduates that am i actually ready am i actually ready for the next year am i actually ready for the job you know an institute can give you that much it can give you a <clears throat> the best of the faculty members it can give you the best of the lecturers it can give you uh, the environment and the infrastructure but ultimately it's you you have to work upon yourself you have to become ready you have to ensure that you know uh, you you become the product that the company wants you know as as we go in the market as shoppers what do we do we go and we we check the milk packet or the bread and we check the date first that okay this is fresh this will last this is going to last for a while this is the best product i can get for my buck you know we do that evaluation we do that mental calculation in a gfe we do it very quickly same is the case with hr or or the you know the function head who is interacting with you in your uh, placement interviews or over the phone or you know whatever medium be they are also checking that is this person the best person for the job and you know there is nothing personal it could be a lady it could be a guy it could be anybody it has to have he has to have or she has to have the most relevant set of skills should be confident and or should be up, should be able to appear confident make his or her presence felt that okay look i am the product you're looking at i am the product who is the best product best suited for your requirements so the whole purpose of my conversation with you today will be to make sure that you are aware aware about yourself and how you evolve you know as a as a individual or as an executive because you are ready you are just ready to take the leap so i'll not uh, you know take more time but i would start i hope uh, all of you are able to see this just the opening slide okay i'm sure everyone can recognize what these are these are gold coins you know these are gold coins and my purpose of showing you this in my very first slide is very simple you know as as individuals or as students we hardly take note of the markets unless our teacher in the classroom the finance teacher or uh, you know a professor tells us that you know are you reading the business magazines are you keeping a tab on the market or uh, do you know the valuation of precious metals so i would want you to uh, i mean i would want you to ask you all of you are you aware that what was the price of gold 
whatever unit you may take, maybe uh, you know, 20 years back, because 20 years back, you would be learning the basics. You have you would have just started schooling. So the price of gold then and the price of gold today, I mean, phenomenal. And my purpose of showing you or talking about gold coin or its valuation in the past 20 years is only that much that each of you are like gold coins. Each one of you. You have to start thinking that you are the gold coin whose value is going to go 10 times or 20 times in the next 10 or 15 years. Fast forward 2030, you should be the one giving this talk. That's the whole purpose of this slide. So the agenda I've already mentioned before I started my presentation, the agenda is to make you learn a few things about yourself to ensure that you know, when you are in the corporate, you are ready. I've also given a short story about myself. So I don't know if this slide is of any value now, but as the Dalai Lama on honorable Dalai Lama says that when you talk, you already are talking what you already know. So if you listen, you may learn something new. So that's about it. Now, as students or as corporate professionals, we should worry when we see this slide. It's not, not very old data. I have given the link below. It's a study done by McKinsey and company. I'm sure all of you are aware of that, especially the finance guys. McKinsey and company did a survey in 2013-14 and uh, it asked institutes as well as the employers that are the young people are the students of today prepared for work? You see, the, even the educators, 70% only said yes. Why not 100%? They know their students. They know how prepared they are or they know how well they are preparing them for the corporate. And surprisingly, only 50% of young people and the employers, less than 50% in fact agreed that people aren't prepared for work. Why? I mean, if you see the numbers, we are churning out lakhs of engineers. We are churning out hundreds of thousands of management graduates every year. And yet this data, okay, this is a little old, five years old, five plus years old, but what percentage point, you know, would it had changed? Maybe 5% here and there, 10 maybe, but still it's far, far below than hundred percent. So there are reasons for that and we are going to talk about them. So I'm only here for you to look in the mirror. By looking in the mirror, I mean, everyone is looking in the mirror when they get up in the morning. It's like a ritual, but are you really looking in the mirror? Look at the person in the mirror and see if you like him. Or, you know, you like a person, you want to be like him. You see yourself in the mirror and ask that question. So the purpose of this talk is nothing but self-awareness. Okay. So how do we become self-aware? I have put Daniel Craig on here because, you know, it, it makes a little more interesting when you have James Bond in such a position where he is curious, he is confused, he is injured. He is trying to discover himself. Now, as you see, there are no texts. I'm just, you know, talking to you. You, you may take, uh, you know, you may note your questions down during the presentation and then we can have a question answer later. Now, the simplest thing to do in order to discover yourself is to talk. Talk to who? Talk to your friends, talk to your teachers and talk what you're talking. Anyway, you're talking most of the time with your uh, immediate circle. You have to get feedback. You have to seek feedback. Feedback from friends, feedback from teachers, feedback from family. What it does is it makes you look in the mirror, the mirror that I showed you. When you get a feedback, you will be surprised to know 
that every single person, each one of them that you are, you know, getting feedback from, perceives you in a different manner. So your family, your mother perceives you as a very good child. You know, maybe you're a good child, not saying you're, you're not. Your teacher perceives you as a very good student or an average student. You know, these are adjectives. So seek feedback. You think that a particular teacher uh, thinks I'm, I'm very smart in the class or I'm an okay student in the class, but you'll be surprised to know when you talk to him. Same with friends. You talk to your roommate, he will have a different descriptor for you. You talk to a, you talk to a junior or, or uh, another friend in the classroom who's a day scholar maybe, he will have a different perspective of you or a different description for you. So discover it, this, to discover yourself is the foremost thing that you should do. And how you should do it is to seek feedback. So what happens when you get feedback? So you got the feedback, you know, somebody said that you are the best student or somebody said that, you know, you need to work hard in finance or, uh, you know, you can probably uh, have more interaction in the class. So, so when all these feedbacks are given or when you get all these kind of feedback, what, what it does to you, you have to notice these different emotions and you have to take mental notes. You have to note down the key pointers that are coming, that are flowing, you know, towards you. Why? Because once you get these, then you are able to filter, you know, sort them out, filter them out and, you know, interpret it. And then you will know that, okay, you know, somebody thinks or most of the people think that I need to work hard in a particular subject or a set of people, a set of friends think that uh, I can play better football or basketball, then, uh, you know, maybe I should have a look at it. So unless you are getting this feedback, you are not really able to, you know, think to better, make yourself better. So once you have discovered yourself, you are starting to define yourself. You know, you interpret it, you, that, that feedback, you're finding, you're trying to find meaning. You're, uh, you know, you're, you're calling maybe that you are, uh, you're better at logistics. You, you can be a good supply chain uh, manager later in, in your, in your career, or you're good at people management. Are you good at uh, HR as a career? or you communicate well, you know, you are, you have an eye for detail. Maybe uh, you can be the marketing person. So once you start getting these different feedback, it can channel you towards your goal in a better manner. And, you know, trust me, take your time. You don't have to hurry with it. This is a process, self-awareness process. It takes time. It takes years for some, it, it may take less or some, it may take more, but there is no fixed time to become self-aware. And, what, what we actually do after discovering or defining ourselves is that we develop ourselves. We develop how we brainstorm, we experiment. We also have to overcome our fears. If you see the first picture I showed you, and if you see the picture that I'm showing you now, he's groomed himself because he's self-aware. He knows about his shortcomings. He knows about his limitations and he has worked upon them and he's tried to develop himself. You know, build yourself, train yourself. And once you have done all of that, it's time to deliver. So once you're more aware and, you know, think of it in the context where you are in the corporate, when you are working. So from now to say three to five years, you know, everyone will start having expectations for you to deliver in true sense, in business sense, I could say, you know, your, your time to uh, excel in your area, your area of expertise, taking charge, you know, uh, leading things, inspiring others, all that is delivering. And as managers, assistant managers, team leaders, you got to deliver. Delivering and creating an impact leads you to an evolved person, an evolved corporate executive, an evolved individual, a strong uh, 
a strong leader or even in your personal relationships you will be better you will be able to analyze you will be able to keep your composure you, you will be able to calm yourself and take decisions in a better manner so what did i just tell you was a simple process of that starts from seeking feedback defining yourself what you could do and then develop those skills to do it and finally deliver and once you do that you become an evolved individual an evolved executive this is a journey i am not sure if you are taking notes but if you want i can share this uh, slide later with kamal and he'll share with you so the self awareness journey is a very simple one yet very complex you know simple why because i have just set in motion in five steps but each of these steps have its share of time have its share of uh, effort so start discovering yourself start taking feedback today yeah becoming self aware all of you okay moving on so we're talking about or i'm i'm giving you examples of the game of chess and uh, you know chess represents uh sometimes it represents war world war 2 uh when it ended you know there were the allies have won and uh, you know the nazi germany has fallen and japan had been contained all of that has happened but you know there was one person who has led all this in europe who went on to become the 34 34th president uh, of the united states of america his name was dwight eisenhower many of you would be aware if you were liking history lessons in high school so when there were chapters on world war 2 you must have gone through his name so dwight eisenhower was a army general in the us army and he was leading on the front in europe and as we know it it, it was it was a blood bath in europe in world war 2 and taking decisions you know was a very important uh, and, and imagine there were no there were no such advanced computing devices or such automatic machinery weaponry uh, gps they were they were very in their very nascent stages so taking decisions then was you know a tough job i would say so eisenhower's technique of ta taking those uh, decisions then led to creation of the decision matrix it's a very simple plan you know and most of the most of us read about it or learn about the decision matrix in our courses or uh, when we do you know time management classes a teacher will uh, explain it to you but trust me you will not be able to follow unless you are following the decision matrix every single day in your life you know it's it's you don't need a uh, print out you just have to you know make a square make four quadrants and write important not important on the y axis and urgent not urgent on the x axis and in the four quadrants write what you are trying to achieve in the week don't do it daily we are not leading the world war but yes what we can do is we can plan our week and we can put these so so you will see that okay aaj mujhe phone ka bill phone ka bill dena hai is week mein you know probably you can where you think you can put it if you have a friend who also has to you know pay the bill you can probably put it in number 3 you can delegate bhai mera bhi phone ka bill pay kar dena please i'm just joking don't do that because the second week or the second month you will not be able to do that actually so coming back to the decision matrix you have to decide there is an exam 10 days from now it's obviously it's important and it's urgent urgent why because it's only in 10 days left so it's in quadrant 1 so do what do what do study similarly there is a project that you should start working on and the deadline is 3 months from now so it is important but it is not urgent you have time you have 3 months so you plan for it you put it in quadrant 
so this decision matrix you know keep it with you from today onward in your mind if you can do it or in in a piece of paper paper when you are starting this will help you immensely in your corporate success let me tell you this keep a journal keep a diary notebook always with you a small one big one whatever you can carry at all times and keep this decision matrix put the jobs there in 1 2 3 4 and start eliminating do one click it off the table it's for everyone everyone should do it i mean what best example than we have the nizen over winning a war with this matrix okay so take a decision uh i don't know if you are able to uh, log on to a browser internet browser and take a guess at who this person is if you are able to access the internet or if you if you are able to go on to the screen go to slido.com go to slido.com we'll we'll take a we'll take a one minute here i want you whosoever can go to slido.com and enter that number 87818 This is the only way that I can interact with you right now. You can take another good look. Go to slido.com. Enter the event ID. Eight seven eight one eight. Okay. Okay. We have two words. Come on. Seven eight. Okay. I repeat. Go to slido. dot com. Enter the event ID eight seven eight one eight. I would like to see a little more responses there. Yeah, I can ask a question like this on a Zoom call. This also tells me how many of you are actually listening to me. Okay. Okay. Come on, faster. S L I D O. slido.com the event id you have to enter on the website is 87818 or if you are on a laptop you can scan this qr code and you can simply vote select one answer we have 23 votes i'll show it to you again you have to take a guess who this person is he is a sports person i have given you the hint but then there are 1 2 3 there are 3 options of sports person okay so uh, i'll reveal i'll i'll just he, he is the norwegian grandmaster he he is currently the number 1 he is from norway and uh, he is 30 years old plays chess so what's so special about him yeah i should actually have asked how many of you play chess then 
you know more people could have guessed but nevertheless okay <laughs> so after giving the answer i see that norwegian grand master is on the top good <laughs> ne never mind sir so there is a there is a swedish composer by the same name just a little twist in his spelling of his name so he is also his his name is sorry i have not given you the name this marcus carlson now you know what grandmasters or you know what chess players do right all of us know what chess players do they think of a move and then they move there or then they make the move basically so they think what is going to happen in the next few minutes they take a guess or they take a calculated guess calculated risk they calculate the move and then they move their knight or bishop or the pawn or the king if needed on an average on an average a grand master you know who the grand master grand master is the guy who's who's a champion basically so from india we have a uh, i'm forgetting his name is from chennai not vishwanathan anand vishwanathan anand was the grand master so grand masters usually think on an average of 10 to 15 moves ahead i know it's not common knowledge but i know it's important for you to know and why it is important for you to know now is for the simple reason that if you don't know about what are you going to do later half in the day today or what are you going to do tomorrow or the week after you're not able to become the grand master in your game so to become the grand master of your game it is very important very important that you know your moves or thinking ahead so all uh, you know i i see 100 plus participants here and i want you before making your move you should be aware of at least five or 10 next moves what happens if you do this what happens if you do that so at most of the time we are taking decisions so take decision but also think ahead right we'll move on so i have a small clip to show you i hope you get the audio because or you'll get an idea let's see parking assistant including linear guidance can park the vehicle completely automatically parallel or perpendicular to the street the system works by measuring potential spaces while driving past them at low speed the parking assistant menu can be activated by selecting reverse gear or by pressing the park assistant button in the center console Select the desired parking space and if required the orientation. Follow the instructions in the control display to carry out the parking procedure. On some vehicles the parking assistant button has to be pressed during the complete procedure. While on the vehicle shown here you only need to press it once to start. The system does not relieve you of your personal responsibility to assess the situation. You can cancel the procedure at any time. You can also override the system by a braking or steering. Parking assistant will continue the operation if desired. Continue watching our how to series. What just happened? We saw a German car park itself all by itself in fact. so it's called the park assist or the auto parking technology that bmw it's in india now it's also in the 3 series bmw uh, you know you can go to the bmw showroom and you can uh, you can ask for a demo if you would like to see it or you can watch many youtube videos that are there published by bmw what it does is i'll i'll tell you how it works it simply records the last 50 meters if you are moving below the the speed of 35 kilometers an hour so if you are moving 
very normal speed 35 or below it records up to 50 meters of your last journey and it senses where there is space it senses where there are objects and if you need a park assist you just have to press a button and the car will park automatically itself there are many uh, automobile journalists who have actually demonstrated this in a more lengthier video i took a shorter video for the sake of this conversation so imagine that i mean imagine telling your mom or uh, maybe your grandmother about it or a grandfather about it ki meri gaddi to apne aap hi park ho jandi hai what is the response that you will get if you tell them ki gaadi apne aap park ho jayegi you saw in the video the person was not touching the steering wheel unless there was an option you can override the system by braking or by holding the steering wheel the car can park itself who would have thought i have not thought about it 5 years back you know google is testing uh, uber is testing or you know uh, self driving cars there there is a lot of technology and lot of research happening and uh, demonstrations happening we have the final product on the indian roads in the year 2020 the bmw 3 series in india even the 3 series the starting bmw model in india has the park assist the point of showing you this video or talking about this german car so much is that if a car can park itself it has learned to park itself whatever algorithm is, human brain has only taught it then imagine what happens if we teach things to ourselves you know learning never stops wheel was invented when stone age you know and carriages and cars and it's been uh, over 100 years that we have the uh, the technology the internal combustion engine and the cars have been always there for the over 100 years cars are as normal you know as as we breathe we see cars every time every day but what was the need to make a car that parks itself so never so the the crux of this video is to never stop learning okay these are the few things that you should have digital literacy i remember 15 years back we used to struggle uh, you know i have i have a background of computer science so i was well versed with you know networking bits and you know uh, resetting the raw router or dhcp the terminology but today digital literacy i mean children who are like 5 years they know you know what internet is or when the network is not proper you know ask your nephew niece or the child in the in the house and th they will connect to the wifi on the phone and they will say you know you don't know it this is how you connect wifi this is how you disconnect the wifi this is how you open youtube a five year old or maybe even a three year old child can today do it but 15 years back even the adults were not able to do that properly they would connect to a different network they would uh, not know which is a, what is a secured network what is an unsecured network but today we all know it it's become so normal so don't wait for it to become normal and then learn it you know make an effort make an effort you know i am not going to give you gyan on each of these ki what is critical thinking what is analytical skills or big data you can get enough videos on youtube or you know material to read online but do read about them but do know about them and try to imbibe try to inculcate critical thinking you know a teacher says something he explains something try to understand why is he telling you in that method ask questions give him feedback just like you are getting feedback you know emotional intelligence is nothing but able to assess the emotions of the people around you and then take decisions see how it is impacting your decision making their decision making so you know thinking ahead self awareness and never stop learning these these are the essential skills so learn those skills you know anything that if you have a engineering background you can go and uh, you know take a course there are so many uh, 
free courses online that you can take. There are short term courses that are free. If you don't need the certification, you don't have to pay anything. Take a course on machine learning, take a course on artificial intelligence, take a course on uh, data analysis. It will help you have a better way to think. You know, it will evolve you as a person, as an individual, as a professional, as an expert. What you want to become, take a course in that. Nobody is judging you there. You don't have to take a certificate. You don't have to have a pass or fail certificate. But just do that course and see what happens. Moving on, I'll, uh, I'll skip to a shorter one. I'll make you watch this. This is again a one minute video. Pay attention guys. Do listen to this. Very interesting what he says. Only one minute, a very short video. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. And you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that were successful loved what they did so they could persevere when it, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you got to love it. You got to have passion. And I think that's the high order bit. The second thing is um, you've got to be, you've got to be a really good talent scout. No so I'll, how I'll go back a few are, seconds here. Uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you got to love it. You got to have passion. We all know who he is. Steve Jobs, founder of the iPhone, the product. Nobody knew 10 years back or maybe 12 years back that they needed an iPhone or they would need a product so badly that they would stand in the line in the queue for six hours to get a product in their hands. Imagine, I mean, this is not, this is 2010 I'm talking about, 2012, 2015, even last year when the Apple 11 was launched, Apple 11 Pro, Pro Max were launched in the US and in some parts even in here in India, people would queue up outside the Apple store to get the product. We all have phones. We all have mobile phones since like what? Almost 20 years now in India, 1996, 1998 it came and uh, you know, it became very affordable. The calling rates, the handsets, they became very affordable by the year uh, 2002 or 2004. But in 2015, why would people stand in queue to pay, you know, 50,000 rupees to get a phone? I'm sure many of you have this iPhone, you know, just because it's a, it's a very superior product. It's magnificent, you know, in what it does. It's the best phone. Apple is the best phone. It's a style statement. Yes. But also, if you use the iOS, there's nothing like it. And why it is a product like that is because of this man, Steve Jobs. And what he just said, it would not happen if you don't love it. If you don't love what you do. You know, there'll be times that you'll be, you know, feel like you have been hit by a brick on your head. But then that is a time to not quit. So don't quit. And when will you not quit? Unless you love what you do, you will, you will give up. It will take some time to find. But then once you have found it, you love what you do. Remember this always. And it may take a few years. Don't worry about it. You know, you, you say, Mujhe, you know, a typical thing I, I, I get to hear uh, when, when I'm, I, I, I'm also on the board of uh, an, a recruitment firm. And sometimes I do uh, interviews, uh, you know, and when I talk to candidates and I'm talking about these candidates are, uh, you know, five years plus experience. And uh, apart from the other technical senior positions, sometime I hire. 
Sales is not my cup of tea, they would say. When Steve Jobs presented or presented or opened, uh, you know, when the launch presentations, he's a salesman. And he's also a product engineer. He's a, he's a design engineer. He's so many things in one. Why? Because he loves what he does. So don't even ever have that, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Do it. Go ahead. You get a chance, you do it. And then decide. Don't have an assumption in your mind that ye mujhse nahi hoga, ye mujhe maza nahi aara, ye maine nahi karna. Nahi, never have that. Karo, khub karo, kitna kara aapne. Aapne kara and then you decide. Maybe, you know, that is a way of process of elimination is all about that you do something and then you say, okay, you know, I can do that thing better. I, I can do the books. I can, I am good in accounts, but I really love to pitch. I can be a salesperson. So yeah, you can become a, a salesperson in in an uh, you know in in the big four consulting companies. You never know. So so keep exploring yourself. Keep discovering yourself. Who you think will be picked up? If you have to draw, even your, you know your, uh, as I mentioned, a nephew or a niece, or the child in the family, he or she knows. Which one to pick up from this, from the set? We all know. And why? The color pencil in the middle is the one that picks up. You would, you would want to, you know, you probably, if you have a need for using a red pencil, you probably pick it up, you'll sharpen it and, uh, you know, start using it. But you, if you, if these are not, not color pencils, just pencils, you would just pick up the sharpest one. Think about yourself. Think about yourself. When you look in the mirror, are you the sharpest one? Are you going to be picked up for the job? Not just for the placement. When you are placed, when you are in the company and there is an assignment that is to be done, will you be the one, one to be picked up? So the idea is to only tell you to stay sharp, stay fit. Okay. Staying sharp gives you opportunities and helps you get picked up. Okay. I know. I mean, you know, a lot of tech references, of course, it's one of the most happening industries. So all of them on the screen that you see, these, these are, uh, these are the men who are in technology. They are the leaders from Mr. Sundar Pichai to Mr. Satya Nadella and Mr. Zuckerberg and Bill Gates in the center. I'll delve into it with a very brief under, under one minute clip I have to show to you. Just see this person. Just observe him. Just observe him now. What do you think happened there? This man, Mr. Sundar Pichai, is one of the most powerful men in the industry, or in fact, you can say in the world. He's at the helm of affairs at Google. He heads Google. All the decisions that are taken. You know, I just said Google twice and my phone lit up. That's the power of Google. So this, I mean, he's such a strong man. He's the CEO of Google, but look at him, look at him with, look at him with Pranav Rai. 
the managing editor of NDTV. He's like a little boy. I mean, he, he's like a fan boy there. He doesn't look like he is the, you know, all airy CEO of Google. He's a normal person. And, you know, look at him dressed up or look at all of them. I showed you in the slide before. Be it Sundar Pichai or be it Mr. Satya Nadella or the legends in the picture in the middle. What you see is, you. I mean, I'm sure you, you have all seen these pictures with a, a few lines that, you know, you, you see so many billions in one picture, etc., etc. But show it to somebody in a remote village and he would not be able to differentiate between you or this, or this person on the screen. So the idea is that one has to stay humble. Whatever you achieve, howsoever smart you are, howsoever, how, how so many times the teacher in the class tells you or, or loves you or favors you, stay humble. That's very, very important. That's the mantra. So just summarizing, summing it up for you. You have to take decisions. Every morning we, we, we do take decisions. We take a decision to wake up in the morning. You know, you all took a decision to attend this class. Don't worry, it's going to end now. And it's not a class, I'm sorry. It's just a talk. Thinking ahead. The grandmaster. Think of a grandmaster. He, he thinks of 15, average 10 to 15 moves ahead before he makes his move. So start thinking ahead for your sake, for your career's sake, for your future. Okay. Learn new skills. I mean, come on. This is the year when a car can park itself. What are you going to do? Love what you do. Because unless you love what you do, you will not excel at it. You get a job. It is sales. Perfect. Let me become the best salesperson. Let me see how I can. I mean, nobody's going to challenge me in what I am doing. I am the best. Tell it to yourself every morning. Do sales. Excel in that and then do something else if you want to. How are you going to do it? Stay sharp. Staying sharp gets you picked up. Gets you picked up for the job. Obviously over others. And stay humble. Coming back to where we started, this is a, for the last 20 years, this has been how gold is moved. So become the gold coin, be the gold coin. Wherever you are today, whatever your value is today, try to go up, try to move up. You know, take a one gram gold coin, keep it in your wallet doesn't cost, uh, cost that much or not in your wallet. Keep it somewhere where you can see it every morning and try to become like gold. Every morning when you see that gold coin or think of it, you know that, okay, you know, today its value has moved up even slightly up. Add value to yourself. Even if it is a little bit, you know, gold moves. Aaj 200 rupees gold bada gaya, aaj 500 rupees gold bada gaya. Abhi but otherwise also, you know, I, I'm giving you real examples, real life. I'm trying to keep the conversation real so that you can connect and you can, you know, these are simple things. These are very, very simple things. You have to be valuable. You have to be ready for the future, for your sake. And that concludes my talk. I, uh, you know, I, I could have started giving you a lot of data on how you know employability can be better etc etc but no we all know hamare andar kya hame improve karna hai we all know but yes it helps to seek feedback if we seek feedback we get to know and once we get to know hame kis cheez mein better hona hai it's 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 of much help you know or it it becomes much easier basically Becoming that valuable asset for your family, for your organization, becoming that gold coin. And uh, I would like to thank you all for having the patience 
and for giving me the opportunity uh, to have this conversation with you. I I wish I could have been there in person, but nevertheless, it's it's absolute delight. You know, it takes me back. Thanks once again. Thank you, Kabul. Thank you, Rajesh sir. Thank you so much, Intikab ji. Thank you so much, and such a wonderful lesson. Uh, uh, this lecture uh, after so long, I am able to uh, go through this. And uh, Intikab ji, definitely, we would love to have you for at least for three, four sessions during our placement season. Uh, definitely, that is very much required, and uh, uh, your inputs definitely are, uh, in real sense, very useful. Thank you so much. and we would love to have you in our campus physically as well thanks sir thank you for saying that truly uh, so we have few questions uh, would you like to take them up yeah yeah please i am all ears okay uh, sir so student has asked that sometimes we got delayed in making decisions and the opportunity goes away Sir, uh, so sir, can you suggest how can we boost up our decision making? How can we, you know, take decisions faster? Yeah, that's a very good question. And in fact, even I have uh, been there. Uh, I'll give you a very, very short example. When uh, I was doing my MBA uh, or my post graduation, I mean, and uh, there were a, there were a few companies coming over in the in the week, and uh, I was in split. I was thinking that should I go for the placement uh, talk or or for the interviews or not and uh, or should i wait for some other company because you know happens that you know shuru mein jo company aa rahi hai you want to become ki nahi mujhe to best mein jana hai mujhe to agli company kaun si hai usme jana hai and all of that next week mein shayad wo aane wali hai so i totally get it it's very very normal uh, for you or for anybody uh, to to be not able to make take that decisions that quickly so that's why i, I uh, you know when i showed you the decision matrix i got to know about that decision matrix uh, what about uh, after at least working for 5 years in the corporate then i got to know i mean i have read it in time management it was shown in the classroom and you know what happens it was just one one more chapter one more lesson that we had learned in the classroom and okay tk eyes on over the unka decision matrix tha important not important unless you imbibe it today aapko maine aaj dikhaya go back make a square say important more imp or or just google it and just but you have to take an a4 sheet and draw it on paper and write make that decision matrix and then today of your mundane things paying phone ka bill paying the fees calling uh, you know a friend calling your father whatever all of these are tasks so one sheet you make the decision matrix on one sheet you write down what are the tasks that you generally do try to put those tasks in the decision matrix i'll tell you what what will happen you will have a mental you know it is said that once you start doing something and do it for 21 days it becomes a habit do it for 21 days from today and trust me you will have better decision making skills you know i uh, was in uh, a company called whirlpool i am sure all of you know it's world's number one appliance company and i was heading marketing for the entire north india i had a large team i had about 900 people when i left so i had i had to take decisions and decisions involved uh, you know it, it also involved salary decisions it also involved uh, increment decision taking decisions decisions to hire somebody decisions to move somebody from one one place to the other place so it 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 was to be very and you know it is about lives of people that i was uh, taking decisions about so if you want to take decisions quickly start doing it from today imbibe the decision matrix and try to do it in day to day things that's about it and connect me on linkedin i'll give you more ways to to be, to, to have a better decision or a quick absolutely. decision absolutely i think practice will help students to yes. Uh, yes. to do this right so we have uh, uh, we can take one more question i think uh, sir there is a question like uh, what if in third semester of uh, bba i came to know that i love uh, graphic designing my passion is in graphic designing so what should i do now ye to farhan wala case ho gaya sir farhan wala case ho gaya yes yes abba nahi manenge main photographer kaise ban jaau main engineering kar raha hu it's very typical and i love that movie three idiots and trust me it happens with with many people 
it happens with uh, most of us you don't have to first thing you don't have to panic you love graphic designing great but you are there for a certain reason you are there to complete your bba do that bba finish off your course and every single day do your small project on graphic designing get better at that what will happen you will have two skills one you will be a bba and by the time you pass out you will be a good graphic designer it will give you an opportunity how how many people you have seen who are bbas and are also good graphic designers not many right don't drop out because it gives you an opportunity we are in a country india where degree is important to get you a certain entry do not drop out take your bba degree and practice on your graphic design skills own it up today you have the uh, you know fastest internet cheapest internet youtube accessible we used to uh, you know really wait that uh, you know uh, buffering hoti rehti thi videos to to learn something online or to have a tutorial online it was such a task but today you are lucky so learn your graphic design online you know participate in competitions there are very many international international competitions there are many portfolio websites like behance etc where you can showcase your work where you can also get work you know do those freelance work also only if your time permits don't flunk in your exams in bba do both and then once you pass out you know you you yourself will be guided don't worry about it absolutely right and kapti absolutely right uh, you rightly stated this so nowadays uh, i think my advice to all students uh, whatever the degree you people are pursuing but simultaneously you must uh, develop your certain interest areas and simultaneously you must start working towards the same so nowadays lot of certifications lot of online stuff lot of things are available uh, previously in our times that was not available so you people are so lucky you are having ample opportunities in order to upskill uh, yourself and definitely uh, uh, whenever you are entering into the corporate world or you are venturing out yourself whether you are establishing your own enterprise or you are uh, for uh, Uh, for the job profiles but your extra skill set it is always always definitely beneficial uh, for bo uh, both ways so absolutely rightly stated sir thank you so much any other question harman uh, so one more question uh, this is a general question rather what skills and interest should a professional resume include if you could guide our students uh, on making their resume a little bit more richer okay i get that a lot because uh, you know i when i am talking to students be it at uh, hamdard university or at amity university and now here also you know so this question is not new to me but i have uh, you know one answer to that and uh, the answer to that is very simple aap resume pe wahi dalte ho jo aap ho you know it's it's like a picture of you in text it, you have a photograph but you have a descriptor for yourself so it defines you it is it is like a reflection of you on paper so do not put anything that you are not you know and it is a very good uh, tool i would say a very good instrument for you to drive the conversation or to drive the interview aap jo likhoge apne cv pe apne resume pe aap jo daloge jo interviewer hai wo usko dekhega aur aap se baat karega uske bare mein so you are in control the moment you put something which you are not on paper and then you start to fumble okay even if you get hired trust me even if you get hired and then you he puts you to a certain job and you know he says ki you know you put that about that experience or that skill hey i thought you would be able to do that job so uh, you know don't write things like uh, you know good time management skills and all show it reach reach for the interview 5 minutes early that is time management skill not writing it in your cv that i am good at time management you know these things this you know as we call it soft skills these are also very very important most important skills because degree aapko mil jayegi nobody is uh, taking a look at your ki aapko 68% hai ya aapko 70 73% hai you know what they look at is your appearance for that interview and how soon are you reaching there you are reaching in time or you are late you are out of breath no so i gave you an example of time management that rather than putting it on the cv don't put it there 
demonstrate it and uh, so by uh, 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 one of our faculty in chat box they are ha he is having special compliment for you um, <laughs> i am just reading out the compliment uh, it is uh, dear uh, aslam it is full of emotions ppt but really amazing you are and please share my feedback to mr aslam and uh, he is mr avneet yora uh, i would like if uh, if you share your experiences with us and in future also very very positive aura you are having god bless you so uh, special compliment from our side and wonderful uh, interaction uh, with all of our attendees thank you so much aslam sir i'm totally delighted to hear that and i'm reading that uh, comment now thank you sir thank you mr devra and uh, you know this is something uh, i would like to always keep with me uh, i am i'm glad that you know i was able to make a difference and uh, add certain value and i also look forward uh, to uh, you know future talks uh, with all of you sir thank you so definitely. much for the opportunity definitely thank you uh, thank you intika for uh, joining us today it was really a great session i mean uh, the way you started by showing off our uh, you know the mirror and you know i loved uh, james bond uh, it was very connecting it was very connecting and the decision matrix uh, it was so easy uh, and i think it will help every one of us uh, to you know make a better decision and uh, the way you gave all the tips uh, like you know knowing your moves and thinking ahead learning new skills and uh, at last you know being humble uh, i mean these are the i think these are the takeaways and uh, thank you so much for this uh, talk i really enjoyed this thank you so much and in come a special compliments from my side you are a fit personality for bollywood too oh. <laughs> sir, this is all thanks to the lockdown sir that. absolutely absolutely sir <laughs> thank you so much thanks so much sir thank you for the time thank you kaval thank you for uh, reaching out on linkedin and i i'm i would want to also add yes i took a note that each one of you here be in any course are, are you in bba management engineering please be on linkedin add value to conversations and you know you will be surprised maybe you will have a job offer in your inbox uh, you know if you are if you are really good at it and you can get good at it once you start doing it so action is the most important thing please start doing it all of you be on linkedin be very active read follow people inter interact with them engage with them okay definitely we will uh, communicate your advice to all of our students and i think faculty is also in this group and uh, in future they will be communicating the same uh, to all of our students so thank you so much once again aslam uh, anything else kamal or uh, now we can uh, sir so i uh, i think we can uh, conclude now thank you so much uh, sir for joining uh, today it was a great uh, session and uh, it was very inspiring and uh, uh, interesting session as well so i hope we can uh, we would love to see you again in near future so thank you so much thank, thank you director you. Thank sir for joining thanks sir bye 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 everyone thank you